revealing, very deeply revealing. Welcome. So, uncommon advantage means something that others do not have, an edge you have above others. So, when we say the topic business with uncommon advantage, it means teach me to do business in a way others do not know. Hey, we're talking secret things here with microphone. Ah, ah. Teach me to do, tell me things other don't, others don't know so that I can do well in business more than others. Amazing topic. So, an entrepreneur starts and grows a business, right? An entrepreneur is one who has a vision and then he would put in some capital. Equity, money capital, brain capital, sweat capital, people capital. Is that not what an entrepreneur does? Asset capital, you can even use your car. You put in all sorts of capital into the business. You take some risk, you make some decisions. And the whole idea is what? That he makes some profits. Isn't that what business is about? Yes, you wake up with a vision. Then you put capital, sweat, energy, people, money, all forms of capital, you put it. You take some risk, you make some decisions. At the end of it, let profits come out. That's really what business is about. But here's the sad reality. 99% of people will struggle in business. Why will they struggle? Because they will do it the way they have seen others do it. Today, I want to separate you from the 99%. I want you to step into the 1% who will do business with uncommon advantage. I will show you what they do not know. The easier way to do business so that you're not sweating and you're not in the 99%. Today, I want to teach you the uncommon advantage, something I call the permissionless way. I want you to say that. The permissionless way. That is what I want to teach you today. The permissionless way is a principle I created when I realized that there is always an easier way to start, grow, and earn from business. And it is a legal way. I'm not here to show you anything illegal. The permissionless way is just the easier way to start, to grow, and make money in business, but easier, without struggling with the 99%. Happy are you if you consider it. Happy are you if you open your mind and say, I will not do things like the 99%. I will go the permissionless way. Of course, the permissionless way will not be rid of hurdles. I am not here to say there are no issues along it, but it will be easier, right? Eventually, you may need to access the permissioned way, but with the permissionless way that I will teach you, you would have started, grown, and end, and then it will make it easier to walk the permissioned way, right? So it's just about making it easy for you so that I hand you over the uncommon advantage. In the permissionless way, hey, no cabals, simpler laws, small money go start business, ease of entry, no union of yam sellers blocking the way, <laughs> no approval, no godfatherism, no bureaucracy, 10 months to sign one form. Nothing like that. He's sitting on my file. Nothing like that. No bootlicking, no eye service. There is a large market and there's easy to access the market in the permissionless way. Are these not the things that are holding the other 99% down? I'm about to remove it for you. This is what is holding everybody else down. Yes. I want to start Biscuit, Navdak, six months to approve the permissioned way. Is that not what's holding others? Why have you, hey, do you know since I applied to NAFDAQ, I'm almost losing my mind. The permissioned way. We are here to learn the permissionless way. Yes, and we're not going to do anything illegal. We are here to learn the permissionless way. I want to give a few examples so that you can understand the permissionless way. And I'll choose to start from my profession, starting an accounting business. 
I will play out to you what it looks like to start an accounting business, the permissioned way and the permissionless way. So as an accountant, I go to school and I study accounting and I decide I want to start an accounting business to be doing accounting for SMEs. So the permissioned way, the way that most people process is, ha, huh, I need to write ICANN exam. I need to be a chartered accountant. That's a, a permissioned way. So they look for money, write ICANN exam. There are many stages. It can take five, six years to pass all the stages. You fail some stages, you rewrite. Maybe you're working, they didn't give you permission in some stages. Maybe five years, you finally pass. When you finish passing the exam, where you were working was a supermarket. So the Institute of Chartered Accountants say you need 30 months of relevant experience before they can swear you in as a chartered accountant. Then you go in search of where to do 30 months relevant experience. Then you find it, 30 months is two and a half years. You add it to the five years you were using to write the exam. How many years now? Seven and a half years, the permissioned way. Then after seven and a half years, you have finally become sworn in as a chartered accountant. But you can't start an accounting business. No experience. You start looking for audit firm. Where can I practice? Who will teach me another three, four, five years to get experience? Am I right? Yes. Then you get the experience. You learn. Then you register an accounting business. Then you need a license to run the accounting. Then you apply to ICANN for practice license. The permissioned way.